Hi, welcome to Yeti Snowmax. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to demonstrate the strength of the Yeti belt drive deflector. It's a piece we've engineered to be strong, and for those who were riding last year, you know that we had some issues with not being strong enough, and we're going to demonstrate and show to you all the enhancements we've made to this part since last year. All right, so what I have behind me is our, our test dummy KTM motorcycle, equipped with our Yeti belt deflector, the clear cover. What we're going to do is simulate smashing a new rock or log or tree. And we've been testing this for four months. So we're familiar with how that works. But we're going to lift this bike up with the rider on top of it. And we're going to drop it down on this concrete curb here. So our design plastic part against concrete curb with the rider on it. And you'll also see as we get into the newer models of deflector that we're actually going to slam the bike down with weight, with force, and everything right here on this curb. So that is our strength test today. Alright, as you can see, when the first generation deflector, which we ran last year, it wasn't up to our standard of quality at Yeti Snow Max. You can see that just dropping the bike on this concrete curb with no rider on it caused some damage and started to break the, con the deflector right away. second generation design, the design that we tested this winter. This winter we also added this lip to it, which is very strong. But you can see that after riding it this winter and taking some significant hits on the trail and riding, we managed to put a few scrapes in it. But even after we put that back on this bike here and smash it again on the curb with a rider with Dan on it, plus Derek on the back pushing down to add even more force, they weren't able to break it today. And you can also see at the, the angle of our deflector here, it's designed to deflect hits, that's why we call it a deflector. And you can see where it had hit there and it slid off, again not catching the cover because the cover is locked in. So when we get to the final deflector, the third generation design, obviously if we can't break the second one, the third one was a step higher again. So us at Yeti Snowmax trying to be better, higher, faster, what can we do? So we actually stepped up the thickness at the bottom again, the main impact zone, another millimeter to five, five whole millimeters. So we started at three, went to four, went to five, 30% stronger thickness every time, and made in a different material. So this material has been tested up to minus 30. We can show you videos, pictures of that. And we've also countersunk the fasteners in, done a few other little changes, and very happy with the final design. So this is what's coming on all the new Yeti Snow Mexes for next year and it's one of those parts that design and will be the way we like it to be. So one other very important part that is adding strength to our Yeti deflector is this part here. This is our Yeti nut plate and this is the Yeti deflector dampener. And as you can see, these parts fit together. This part locks inside there and gives you that extra cushion when you smash into a log or you're jumping logs, casing out on things or, or rocks. And then what happens is this part locks into that part. So this part is the nut bolted to the carbon fiber chassis, and you can see this shape here locks right into the back of that part. It's making a really strong billet sandwich, silicone damper, and on our final deflector, five millimeters of special plastic that's super strong. So it's a very well engineered piece, 
designed to take the hits and work as you'd expect it to. 